Yambil, on the border of South Sudan and the Democratic Republic of Congo, is where those who escaped the Ugandan warlord Joseph Kony go to try to get their lives back. Over 5,000 refugees shelter here. Most of these people fled before Kony's Lord's Resistance Army reached them, but some, like Mborife Diodene, were not so lucky. Diodene was abducted by the LRA from his village in Obo in the Central African Republic. For a year, he did manual labor for the LRA. Then he was handed a gun. He told us that when going to fight, one should always be focused and not think about other things. Always think about your business and what you are going for. Kony was indicted in absentia for war crimes and crimes against humanity by the International Criminal Court, among others, for recruitment and use of child soldiers. His victims recall how they were made to kill in order to survive. Many killed their families as soon as they were captured, an abominable act which would initiate them into Kony's army and make it impossible for them to return home if they ever escaped. Kony rules his army now thought to be reduced to fewer than 500 fighters by fear and invocation of supernatural powers, proclaiming himself a medium for spirits and a messenger of God. The small Bible in Connie's hands can do so many things. First of all, if somebody has the idea of escaping, he would know it directly from the Bible. And if someone tries to sleep with or rape a woman, he would know of it with the help of the Bible. Rape has been institutionalized in Kony's LRA, making it both a weapon of war and a backbone of its structures. Abducted girls are given to LRA commanders as wives to cook and bear children. According to Matthew Green, the author of The Wizard of the Nile, Kony himself is believed to have taken 88 wives. Anna, 19, was one of such girls. She was taken from her home in Congo at the age of 17 and forced to play wife to an LRA commander. Her identity needs to be protected as she slowly struggles to catch up on the lost years in the child transit center. Anna was forced to work and loot for the LRA. She now tells of the methods that were used to intimidate her and other abductees. After you are abducted, they apply some kind of oil on your face this is to make you not feel like going back home. And if you do, you can't remember the way back. Eventually, both Anna and Borifre escaped and were brought to Yambio's Makpandu settlement and child transit center by the Ugandan army. The lives of the victims are slowly returning to normal, with work and education filling their days. Anna has decided to go back to Congo, but many of the LRA victims say they will not return until Kony is captured and the rebels are gone for good. Only then, they say, his spell can finally be broken.